Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Demi. Welcome everybody to Final Fantasy XIV. In today's video, I'd like to talk about the mentor system and some of the concerns and issues I have about the entire system. Now, I'm not saying anything like, oh, the mentor system is terrible, it doesn't help new players out, because, in fact, the mentor system is probably one of the better systems I've seen in any MMO. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen an MMO use a mentor system. Now, before we begin, just want to make sure to clarify to the people that maybe aren't really aware of it. The mentor system was originally designed to have a mentor or a group of mentors volunteer to teach novices or new players about the game. Basic things. Not They don't have to be an expert in any particular field, although it does help out in particular. But as long as a mentor is able to guide a new player through how to unlock their class skills, how to do class quests, how to get gathering and crafting professions if necessary, how to properly do a particular role of tanking, healing, or DPS in a dungeon, that kind of stuff. The simple things that new players would want to know. Something that I wanted to know when I first started playing the game and something that maybe new players would want to know when I first enter Final Fantasy XIV. My character on my account was created before the mentor system came around to be, so when I heard of it first, I thought it was an excellent system to get veterans and experienced players within Final Fantasy XIV teaching new players the do's and don'ts and how to do a specific thing. I, If I had a mentor back when I first started, I think I would have had a much easier time getting into the game. Granted, I was going from one MMO to another, I was going from World of Warcraft to Final Fantasy XIV, so nothing really felt too different. There were some things here and there that I had to relearn, I had to relearn different terminology, enmity instead of aggro, and so on and so forth. I had to relearn how to play certain classes, figure out how the class system worked, figure out how to craft, so on and so forth. I started getting into the game and easing myself slowly into the game and becoming semi-good. And while I still do think to this day that a mentor system is, in concept and on paper, is an excellent system, in execution it kind of fell short in some aspects. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Square Enix should just, you know, get rid of the entire system altogether. Because, to be honest, the mentor system is very helpful. It's very, very helpful and I think it's actually almost ingenious how Square Enix were able to develop something like this. To get veterans and experienced players to introduce new players to this environment, to this world, welcome them to the community as well. I thought it was great, I thought it was perfect, and still to this day I think some mentors are absolutely excellent in doing what they do. Personally for me, I decided I would not be earning a mentor crown, and that's because the mentor system also gets a particularly bad rep from mentors that aren't mentoring. See. The only real reward, or the only real cosmetic reward you get that's visible is a little crown. If you achieve the mentor achievements for either crafting and gathering or for battle mentoring, uh, then you get a little crown next to your name. A little crown next to your name symbolizes to other players, especially the Sprout players, the new players, the novices, that you are a mentor. And if they want to ask you a question, you're more than welcome to. It's almost like a, a volunteer service. You just volunteer yourself to be open to questions, open to guides, open to general questions. You don't have to be an expert within a game, but you have to know general information and be able to know how to link certain articles or certain guides, or be able to link certain relevant information. For example, if somebody asks, hey, how do I take on Alexander Savage? You probably have the mentor link them a Mystic guide or Mr. Happy's guide. Or if you were to be like, hey, is there a particular quest I need to do to unlock this trial or that trial on Extreme? They'll be able to either look up the quest necessary for it or be able to guide players to where they need to go in order to attune to certain instances. You know, general information, you don't have to be experts, but at least as long as they're willing to help and do, you know, help players, you know, do some of the research and guide them to good resources to use, that's that's all they need. They don't need to handhold new players or anything, just get players into figuring out how Final Fantasy XIV works and referencing certain guides, referencing certain materials, certain information that will be useful for new players. And that's all fine and dandy and so fine and good. The problem is for me personally though, is that a lot of mentors start using that in order to either feel above other players, you know, have this sense of elitism, being above others because they're the fancy mentors with a little crown next to the name, while everybody else is a pleb and they can down talk a new player for badmouthing them or supposedly badmouthing them. And then a lot of drama happens within the novice chat and a lot of mentors decide that I want to be part of the mentor system. They'll leave the novice chat and try to help out over on their own. The Novice Network is another chat system that was invented for this system. 
in order to get mentors and novices connected faster so they can communicate ideas and communicate between one another and ask for help directly without meeting up directly within the world. It's just there for convenience, really. And to, for example, let's say a novice is stuck on a particular boss or they're stuck on a particular part of a dungeon and they could quickly ask within the mentor chat, hey, how do I do this particular boss? And somebody could quickly respond with, dodge fire, stay out of the AoE, and whenever the boss does this particular thing, go here or go there, go to red or blue, whatever, whatever is necessary. It's a way for mentors and novices to get in contact faster. But instead, I, all I've been seeing as a reason, I'm not gonna lie, all I've been seeing as a reason, all I've been hearing as a reason from my friends that are mentors and people over on Reddit posting some very disturbing text logs of mentors just being really abusive to novices or being abusive to one another, they kicking each other out of the novice network, which I know that's a, I guess technically a reportable offense for Square Enix, and you could probably get them, you know, maybe in trouble, get them reprimanded, which you probably should. You shouldn't be kicking people out for no reason, especially if, you know, they aren't understanding something. You're a mentor, you're there to help people out. You're supposed to be a little bit more patient than anything. What would be the best first impression to give to a new player? A mentor that is impatient and deberates new players for not understanding simple concepts or whatever? Or being inviting, being welcoming? Getting, make sure that players are accustomed to the game, making sure that they know things so that they can pass on that knowledge to other new players and other community to grow. Now, but this is no means of me saying, hey, mentors do better. This is just me saying, if you're considering becoming a mentor, please do consider maybe not if you're not going to be actually helping, if you're there just to chase the crown. Even if you look at the reward for getting the mentor system or for getting, you know, becoming the mentor, you get a little fancy crown next to your name. And that's it. And Zeppelin HQ actually, <laughs> in her very, very funny yet true video, outlined the primary problem with the mentor system and how some players see the little crown that you get next to the mentor system. Here's the video link for that. I'm going to show you a little snippet. Well, what do you think? The crown, I mean. It's nice, yeah? I feel like you're missing the point. I don't follow. Oh, forget it. At least you're a tank. I'm sure that's always welcome in the mentor alert. Mentor what? You don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? And if you enjoyed that, I would really appreciate if you go over to our channel, link in the description below, and there's going to be a card next over for the video. Please watch the video, and if you like what you got going on over on her channel, I would really appreciate you subscribing. She is really funny, I'm not going to lie. I've recently learned about her, and she's pretty great. But regardless of that, the mentor system is there to help new players out. It's not there for a fancy crown or an ego booster. I mean, that's primarily why I don't want to be part of the network system. I probably could grind out the instances. I already have enough accommodations. I already have a healer, tank, and DPS class unlocked for the battle mentor, uh, at least, you know, battle mentor requirement. I just need like maybe 300 or 400 extra dungeons or trials or instances, and then I can unlock it. But instead of doing that, why don't I just sit down like what I'm doing right now with this video? You know, sit down in front of Sony Vegas, edit a video together, and create guides for new players to learn. I mean, I don't have to be a mentor. Nobody has to be a mentor to help other people out or help newer players feel more welcome to the game and get more familiar with some of their systems and concepts. And although I'm not a professional player myself, I would love to help out new players. Let's do this. If you got to this point of the video, and I hope you still, you know, watching the video and still enjoying it, leave me a question down in the comments below. What would you like to see as a guide or tutorial that maybe a rude mentor never taught you anything about? Maybe I can fulfill the job of a rude mentor or, you know, where the rude mentor failed. I don't want to be a rude mentor. No, I don't want to be rude to anybody. In fact, I want to be welcoming to new players. I mean, every single day that I stream Final Fantasy XIV and I get people coming in saying, Hey, Thermal, how's it going? I'm just entering the game, wanted to check it out. Anything I should know ahead of time. And we start conversations over in the chat. It's wonderful. It's great because there's this community of people that just talk about Final Fantasy and help each other out. And I don't know, it feels good. And I feel like I, I want to make a difference with this platform. I have this channel here and it's primarily a Final Fantasy XIV channel audience. And... Why don't I help people out through this way instead of, you know, becoming a mentor? Be a YouTube digital mentor, so to speak, I guess. I don't know. All, all I want to do is just want to help people, honestly. I want us to be able to help people out. I want to make them feel welcome. Because it's a really fun game. And with a real sweet community. Although, because of anonymity and how the online culture is and how the gaming culture is, anybody and everybody can be rude. 
because they're hiding behind a TV or behind a monitor and, you know, they have no consequences. And this is not me saying, oh, mentors do better, you could always do better, because honestly, there are a lot of wonderful, absolutely fantastic mentors that I have the pleasure of talking to on every other day basis, and I get to communicate with them. And some of y'all that are mentors, you're probably watching the video, I want to thank you for being good mentors and helping new players out, making them feel welcome, get them accustomed to the game. Seriously, you are the veterans of the community that are welcoming new players. You are literally holding the door open saying, Welcome to yours. Yeah, I hope you have a, have a lovely stay. If there's anything we could do, please ask us. We want to help you out. We want to make you feel good. We want to make you feel welcome here. And I appreciate that. So if you're a mentor and you help people out, seriously, thank you. Like from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. <laughs> you're doing something I wish I could be doing. But nevertheless, as I said at the end of this video, well, actually a couple of minutes ago, if you have any question at all regarding Final Fantasy XIV and there's something I can help you out in a video format that will be maybe a little bit easier to see in a video format or maybe you'd like to see a particular guide from my point of view, you know, as somebody who kind of plays this game casually, then let me know. Leave it in the comments below. I'll look through the comments and pick some of the ones that, you know, have a lot of upvotes and even the ones with low upvotes, I'll still put them on the list and I'll start pumping out videos for that stuff. Because I want to be able to help people. And even if it's something, I don't know, like simple, like how to properly die, how to properly glamour, at least, <laughs> at least I should be able to link particular articles or maybe particular guides of people that are experienced in that kind of stuff where I like experience. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry the video was kind of ranty and there were a lot of points where I got a little bit off tangent and I do want to apologize for that. But it's just, it's been building up. It's been building up for a while. I just wanted to talk about it, to just let my thoughts out because I feel like not a lot of players really talk about this kind of thing or not really calling out the mentor system for what it is. Now to wrap up the end of the video, do I think there's any way to fix it? Well, I mean, aside from having Square Enix directly curate some of the mentors, no. And I think curating mentors will be a terrible, terrible waste of resources for Square Enix aside. It would be cool if there was some sort of a higher, maybe a higher player accommodation requirement. 300 player accommodation is pretty easy to get if you're just generally nice within like an instance or if you play as a tank or a healer, you can get accommodations really easy. But I feel like maybe increasing it to 500, 1000 maybe, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it should be some sort of an application system that players can apply for, I don't know. <laughs> that maybe a community magic can curate or something. Nevertheless, uh, I do hope that the Metro system will, you know, eventually get altered to detract players that aren't helping from, you know, being part of it and will actually encourage helpful players and knowledgeable players and thoughtful and patient players to help out new players and make them feel welcome. Nevertheless, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here for now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry again that the video got so ranty. I'll see if I can try to make it a little more edited and a little less emotional. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. My name is Thamniel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a good day. And I'll see you on the next video. And also make sure to check out the video in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later.